G'day. 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 Missed us? We are back, ladies and gentlemen, back in Australia. But before we get into how we got back so early, here's a quick recap over the last month. First, we've been training for the soon to be cancelled Sydney Running Festival. Five and a bit K's in, 19 to go. And second, for our anniversary, we went bungee jumping in Ottawa. Quickly, Sol, how are we feeling? My stomach hurts. <laughs> like, like, I want to burp and throw up. I, I feel so stupid. <laughs> a drive-in animal refuge. Why well, hello there. Yeah, have gorgeous breath. Thank you so much for your time. What day is it? Groundhog Day. Oh wow. Fifth and finally, we got bombed from our flights on the 27th of July to the 3rd of September due to... National Cabinet's decision to halve the international arrivals caps. If you reduce the caps, you reduce the risk. 155 people are allowed in each day. However, we call the airline back and this is what happened. So are there earlier flights? Mm, let me check. Yeah, so uh, we actually have flights free on the uh, 29th. Ah, well, uh, yeah, the 29th of August is a couple of days early, that's not too bad. No, no, I mean like the 29th of July. <laughs> 29th of July? <laughs> Long story short, we said yes to update our tickets to the 29th of July, which is five days before flying out to Australia. And now you're all caught up. If you want to check out our journey flying to Australia during this pandemic, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when the video will come out. So stay safe guys and we will catch you in the next video. <laughs> our journey. Journey. <laughs> no, no. Oh god, what a terrible interpretation of the United Airlines, like, people that helped us get here. Can you go with that first good day? Yeah, I, I'm, I was just about to say it after this hit. Okay. Work with me, I'm acting. <coughs> <laughs> wow, that zoomed in.